Welcome to Vindas Academy. If this video gets to you by any means, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, comment, and share. Any of them you can do, that would be fine. All right, I have this topic, reflection of light in a plain mirror or through a plain mirror. So this is the symbol I like to use, physics like to use to represent a plain mirror. And this straight line is called NOMA. That means um, NO is perpendicular, perpendicular to the plane, to the mirror. All right, so this line is called ray. This is called ray, ray of light, just a path that light enters the mirror, okay? Now, once that is done, there will be an angle, theta, with which the angle enter, which is called, that theta is called, is incident, incident angle. Now, according to the principle of mirror, of plane mirror, it says that, the angle incident on the plane mirror at an angle theta will also produce a reflection. So this one is going to have a reflection or reflected ray. Now this ray that is reflected must also make the same angle theta with the normal. Uh, remember, this angle is not the one I'm talking about. This angle is not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the angle with the normal, this normal. So this angle is called incident ray, and theta is also called what? Re <coughs> reflected angle. And according to physics, incident ray must be equal to the reflected angle. And at the end of this class, I'm going to solve a few more examples to back this up. But there is something, another one we call deviation. Deviation, or let's say angle of deviation. How it, does that work? For example, if I have this, right? This is the mirror. Now, if this is the incident ray, remember the incident ray normally is supposed to keep going this way. That is the path incident ray is supposed to follow. But because of the nature of the mirror, because this side is reflecting surface of the mirror, it is going to deviate in this direction. So the angle theta must be equal to this angle theta, all right? But the angle of deviation is the angle from the refracted ray to the path which the incident ray is supposed to go. So this is called D, which is called the angle of deviation. We are going to solve the first question to back up our principle, but Please, before we solve that, there is something I want to say. Rotation, rotation of angle. Rotation, and this one, rotation of a mirror. This one says that at a constant incident, that if a mirror is rotated through an angle, theta, that is incident, uh, sorry, no, not uh, incident that is rotated. If the mirror is rotated through an angle, theta, that a reflected angle is going to be two theta. That means two times the angle of refraction of the mirror. I mean, not the incident that is reflected, that is rotated. It is the mirror that is rotated. The reflected angle is going to have two times of the angle of which the mirror was rotated. We are going to solve one question. If you are ready, Let's take it. All right, this is example one for the follow-up for the reflection of angle, for the reflection of light through a plane mirror. Now, this is the follow-up, this number one question. Let us go, but then remember, I have never given you formula, and I'm not going to give you formula. We are going to use geometry and the rule, the principle of mirror to solve any question. Now, they said a ray of light is incident on a plane mirror such that the angle of reflection is 25 degree, what is the angle of deviation of the ray after reflection from the mirror? Now, what we are going to do is to set it up in a diagram. So in this case, this is a mirror. I'm using this as my mirror. So if this is the mirror, next thing I have to draw is the normal. 
So I must state my normal. This is my normal N, and this is the origin, okay? And uh, there must be an incident. I don't know the incident, but I know the um, such that angle of reflection. Reflection, according to the principle of a plane mirror, reflection, reflected angle must be the same thing as the incident angle. So this is reflected angle, which is 25 degree at this point, okay? Now, so what happens to the deviation? I'm looking for the deviation. So, but then, this is the part of the incident tree. The part of incident tree is supposed to continue from here to here, right? Now, what I'm going to do is, this place is also 25 degree. Why did I put 25 degree there? Because incident tree, incident angle must be the same thing as the reflected angle, according to the previous explanation. So at that point, remember that from here to this place is 90 degree, okay? Now, according to geometry, anytime you see line cross each other, this angle must be equal to this angle. We call them vertically opposite angle. So if you look at that very well, this line, this particular line is crossing. Okay, fine. So that means if this is, please, if this is 25, this place is going to be what? 65 degrees. All right? But some of angles on a, on a straight line, this is a straight line. Some of angles on a straight line must be equal to 180. So I'm going to have, what I do not know right now is this angle. So what am I going to do? I'm going to say that 25, 25, 25, 25, 25 is 50. 50 plus 65 is going to be 115. So I'm going to say 115 plus alpha, which is equal to 180 degrees. Why? It's going to say sum of angles on a straight line, right? So for that reason, I'm going to say that alpha is equal to 180 minus 115 degrees. So alpha is going to be 5, this is many 7, which is going to be 6, 65 degrees. So ladies and gentlemen, I have this place to be 65 degrees, but from my previous class, I told you deviation is from the reflected ray down to the part of the incident. And if this is 65, this is 65, I'm going to have that 65 degree plus 65 degree is equal to the angle of deviation, and that is going to be zero. Seven plus six is going to be 130 degrees. So the angle of deviation is what? 130 degrees. I'll be coming for another example on this. This point also we have that number two, example number two. We said that a ray of light strikes a plane mirror at a glancing angle of 55 degree. Calculate the angle between the incident and the reflected ray. So if you look at this question, I'm going to still anal analyze it. Analysis is very good. This is the mirror and this is my normal, right? So if I decide to, a ray of light strikes a mirror. So this is the ray of light that strikes the mirror, which is the incident. Then at, an, at a glancing angle of 55, this is incident ray, incident, but this is the glancing angle. From the incident, the angle between the incident ray and the mirror itself, sorry, this is always the mirror, and this place is that 55 degrees. All right, we say calculate the angle between incident and the reflected ray. So if this is the incident ray, reflected ray must be here, and this is reflected ray to be what? The same thing as I, because this angle and this angle must be the same. This is the origin of the mirror, and this line is normal. All right, so at this point, I am going to also, the glancing angle 55 here means that this place is going to be 55 degrees, of course. Now, at this point, I'm going to say that some of angles on a straight line, I may not even, okay, sorry, I won't do that. Because I think that was a mistake. Ma saying that this is 55 is, is a mistake. So remember, from here to this place is 90 degrees. So 90 degree, I'm going to find this angle. Once I find this angle, I have found this angle. I'm going to say that 
I'm going to say, let me call this place L. I'm going to say L O N is equal to 90 degrees. All right? So in that case, I'm going to say that 55 plus I is equal to 90 degrees. It's going to be equal to 95 minus 55 is going to be 35 degrees. All right? So the angle between this and this is called theta. So I'm going to say that theta is going to be equal to I plus I. And that is going to be equal to 35 degrees plus 35 degrees, which is what? 70 degrees. Therefore, theta is 70 degrees. And that is the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray. Thank you for being part of this class. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, comment on this video, like and share.